Good morning, friends. Happy Monday morning. I'm ready to have a productive few days. I have a lot of things that I want to get done, like work stuff, errands, appointments. I'm kind of rushing to get ready right now because I have an appointment to figure out my TMJ, which is like when I open my mouth, my jaw clicks. I know, so exciting. But I have an appointment for that and I actually have to leave in literally five minutes. So we're gonna rush to the city, get this appointment done, and then I'm not sure if I wanna like maybe do something else in the city while I'm there. Not too sure what the plan is, but let's get ready and head out the door. I need to leave right now. I have three minutes to get to the tram. Will I make it? Guys, great news. I thought the tram left five minutes earlier than it does. I thought it was 9.51, but it leaves at appointment everything went well why was that $300 though anyway I've seen that there's a Dimmix across the road with a little cafe so I'm gonna go and browse the books and maybe get a little coffee and read my book I think that sounds like a very wholesome activity Home. That was such a cute, fun little outing, and I don't like going to appointments without doing anything else afterwards. So being in the city and being able to just like pop to the bookstore felt really nice. So I want to show you what I got. I was gonna buy more than one book, but then I'm such a Kindle girly. Like I love that it gives you the percentage and it makes reading feel like a game. So I just bought one book, but I bought this book called The Fury. This is by the author who wrote The Silent Patient, which I really enjoyed. I read it, I think when it first came out and I loved it that book so apparently the reviews on the back say that this one is even better and then on my way home I stopped by the post office because I had a package there and I think this is from a subscriber small business I could be wrong are we ready there's a little letter and look it's got a wax seal which is just so bougie so this is from a brand called Aquazum I will put their socials and website and everything down below. So it is one of these tumblers, kind of like the Stanley Cup that everybody's obsessed with, except it's made by a small business, which is 10 times better. How cute! Oh my God, I can't wait to be that bitch. Whenever I see people drinking out of these cups though, I think about that Parks and Rec episode with the Sweetums like supersized drinks. The girlies that get it, get it, but thank you so much, Sarah. Happy Tuesday, friends. I'm being a little quiet because Ethan is still asleep. I don't know what happened yesterday, but I got home and I just crashed so hard. I think it's because I've just got back from a holiday on Saturday and I think I just needed to ease into the week. So I just listened to my body, took it a little slower once I got home, had a chill afternoon on the couch and feeling better today, but still feeling really tired. I'm not sure why. I have a Pilates class booked actually this morning at 10 a.m. in the city. I've been going to KX Pilates and it's so good, but it's so expensive. So I found like this really good deal on ClassPass, which I'm just gonna use until I can't use it anymore. And then I'm probably not gonna be able to go back, but Reforma Pilates is seriously amazing. Like I'm obsessed with it. It's 8.45 now. So I'm just gonna drink my matcha. I'm gonna eat a little banana and get a little bit of work done on the couch. And then we will get ready for Pilates. I've just figured out that I'm gonna be in the city every day of this vlog. Like that never happens. I couldn't tell you the last time I was actually even in the city, but I ju it just worked out that I'm gonna be going to the city every day.
if I had the money to, I would genuinely do Pilates like multiple times a week. I think it's so good. It's such a good workout because it's genuinely very hard on your muscles, but it somehow feels mindful at the same time. I just don't think that the reformer though is like worth the money that you have to spend to be honest because I've done mat Pilates heaps before and it's just as good of a workout like I feel like the reformer is just a bit trendy and like they therefore put up the price it's like f almost $40 a class like it's actually ridiculous whereas I got this class for $5 on class pass and I just don't know that I would pay $36 a class that just seems like highway robbery honestly but I do love it and it's all contextual like if you had the money to spend I wouldn't blame someone for paying that much because it's so good you know what I mean I'm all ready to head out I feel like I'm gonna die during this class because I haven't been in two weeks because I went on a holiday so wish me luck I need you to pray for me please so good I'm actually dead she was like doing so much triceps and your tricep is such a small muscle I was like surely we're not gonna do a tricep like exercise every single round and we did so my right tricep is actually dead like I can't move my arms but it was so good best thing to do in the morning honestly I feel so ready to have a great day and I've been feeling really tired lately but I think this has reminded me that sometimes you just need to work out in the morning and it solves all of your problems. I am gonna grab the tram home and shower and everything and then set myself up for a very productive day, desk stuff, like doing some work, and then I wanna make time for some reading as well. But it's such a beautiful day today. Like, look at the beautiful sunshine. Ah, oh, I feel so happy. Also, there was only me and one other girl in that class and the instructor who, they like walk around the class and like, correct your form and stuff and the old Harriet would have been so anxious a to go to a workout class on her own and b to be in a workout class my back keeps falling down my arm bowl to be in a workout class with just me and someone else but I was like thriving I was not anxious and I just feel like that's a really big sign of growth like my anxiety has held me back a lot in basically all aspects of my life but I feel like I've really put in the work to try and not let it and to try and challenge myself so this is your sign if there's anything you're afraid of doing if you're too scared to do stuff on your own or like go to a new try a new class or something just do it like what is the worst thing that can happen honestly the worst thing that could have happened in that class is that i felt a little bit embarrassed because the teacher corrected my form and it didn't matter anyway i can see my tram i'm so excited to get home and have a beautiful shower also tell me why it's 15 degrees in Melbourne in the middle of summer make that make sense gonna be having a very light work day today um, just doing some admin stuff like emails and rough cutting a video I haven't heard from my client yet so I need to also follow up with them because I have a video to edit for them this week and it's Tuesday so I want to figure out what day they might want me to edit so just things like that just catching up after a holiday I feel like I need to just realign and figure out what it is that I need to do. So I'm gonna start by writing a big to-do list in Notion.
because I'm not feeling super motivated today. I'm actually gonna start with the most fun task, which normally I would start with the task that I don't wanna do just to get it done. But today is not one of those days. So I'm going to look into Tokyo accommodation. Ethan and I will be in Tokyo just for like three or four nights, I think, in July. So I'm gonna ask ChatGPT what suburb we should stay in because I don't know much about Tokyo or where we should stay. My boyfriend and I are going to Tokyo in July. For a vibrant and youthful experience in Tokyo, consider staying in neighborhoods like Shimokitazawa or Koenji. <laughs> I haven't 100% figured it out, but I have a better idea of the areas and then I'll obviously check with Ethan and we can book something together. So I feel like I can take that off my list, which is good. Next thing I wanna do is quickly reply to emails. I don't think I have too many. How many do I need to reply to? One, two, three, I think. So let's bash this out. <laughs> Email's done, look at me go. Now I'm going to quickly follow up with my client and see if they have a video for me this week. Done. The next thing on my list is to rough cut a vlog. I think that this is probably gonna be the last task of the day, but we'll see how long it takes. Like it really can take anywhere from one hour to five hours, depending on how long the video is. Typically it would take me about two. Not me trying to get a cute clip and my water spilling everywhere. This thing is great. I love it. Good morning, happy Wednesday. I've had such a slow, relaxing morning, just doing a little bit of work on the couch. I feel like getting ready a little bit today because I haven't actually worn makeup in quite a while because we went on a trip, which I think I mentioned recently, but we were in Tasmania last week and I did not wear makeup at all. And it honestly felt so good, but you know, sometimes you just want to look a little cute for no reason. So that's what I'm doing this morning. I have a nail appointment. Getting my nails done is like my one thing that I really like. And I know it's so expensive and probably so frivolous to some people, but it really does just make me feel so put together. And since I don't really have that many other expenses in terms of like beauty, I get my hair done like twice a year. I figure... It's worth it and it's okay. I'm leaving here in about 10 minutes and while I'm in the city, I think I wanna go to the library after my nail appointment and bring my laptop, maybe get a little bit of work done and then I'm really into the book I'm reading right now. I believe it's called Before You Knew My Name. I found it a little slow and hard to get into just because of the way it's written, but it's a thriller crime book from what I'm picking up and it's about this girl who dies you know she dies very i think like literally in the first page and it's actually told from her perspective and you know that she's gonna die but you don't know how or what happened and it's told from her perspective and then this other woman's perspective who kind of connects into the book i'm actually really enjoying it like i said it was a little slow to start but i think i'm gonna power through it today because now i'm at the point where I really want to know what happens. On top of that, you've probably noticed in this video, but I'm also listening to an audiobook at the same time. I'm listening to Down the Rabbit Hole by Holly Madison, who was one of the Playboy bunnies, the Playmates. Obviously now we know so much more incriminating stuff about Hugh Hefner. But I remember when I was really, really little, which is kind of controversial, my friend's mom would always play that reality show, Girls Next Door, I think it was called, which centered around the girls of the Playboy Mansion. And I remember just being like fascinated by that world. So it's really interesting to get her perspective. If you guys have read it, let me know your thoughts. Anyways, I'm gonna speed through getting ready because I do need to leave soon. In terms of my nails, I'm thinking like a French chrome. This wasn't meant to be. All 
All right, really simple makeup done. I think I'm gonna leave my hair natural even though it does look a little crazy. I just can't be bothered. I'm gonna pack up my bag. I'm gonna bring my laptop and my book so that I have multiple options. But I'm really excited the State Library. If you guys haven't been or don't live in Melbourne, it's the most beautiful library I've ever been in. It's so stunning. And there's also a bookstore, so I might, I don't know. I've been watching a lot of Hayley Pham lately, which I didn't know that she became a booktuber, like so random from her, but love it. And I've been obsessed with her videos and I have this huge TBR list now and I might have to buy another book. I don't know, we'll see. Anyways, let's pack up my bag. Laptop, book, glasses, headphones, wallet. of my audiobook at that nail appointment because tell me why I didn't realize that you could like up the speed so instead of listening to it on one I'm listening to it on 1.35 which is like the perfect tempo for my brain now I'm gonna walk to the state library which is just like the most beautiful library ever I can't wait to show you guys if you haven't seen it already That was such a fun little day out I had. I am so wiped now though, like I don't know why. I'm so tired. I just did a lot of walking and then I used a lot of brain power. I thought I was gonna read my book. That was like very much my plan, but I'm actually trying a new hobby, a new skill, which is writing. I've loved writing since I was little, but just like never really properly gave it a go. I used to write like poetry and songs and shit, but I have started writing a little story. It's just something that came to me that, I don't know, I really wanna tell it. So we'll see if it ever goes anywhere. But right now I'm just like loving the process. Then I went into the bookstore, which you guys would have seen. And I was so close to buying a book, Magnolia Parks. I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but I've heard mixed things, but like some people love it. So I was gonna buy it and then I was like, babe, just, start with the Kindle, the books you have here, and then I just bought that book yesterday, so I feel like I'm just getting overexcited. This is honestly the influence of Hayley Pham's videos, so I need to watch myself. But anyway, I'm ready to dive into this book. I think I'm like 30% of the way through, let me check, 42% of the way through, so I'm gonna bash out like a good at least 30 minutes before I have my call with my friend. Just to quickly state the obvious, the living room has changed a little bit. We don't know if it's gonna stay like this, but all of this will be in an upcoming YouTube video. So just had to say something. <laughs> book is getting so good like I genuinely have no idea where it's headed well I know where it's headed because I know that she's dead but like I don't know how or who did it or why they did it 
and it's like really a page turner. It's so beautifully written as well, which is why it took me a little while to get into at the beginning because it's just like a different style of writing, but so good. Anyways, I'm waiting here for my friend Sash to call me. Um, she'll probably call me in the next few minutes and we're just gonna have a little catch up, which I'm really excited for. I love phone calls with my friends. So if you guys haven't reached out, to a long distance friend in a while, you should reach out and you should call them because it definitely means a lot, especially when you're the friend who moves away. It means a lot when someone reaches out to you and like actually wants to talk to you and stuff. Obviously it goes both ways, but take it upon yourself to reach out to a friend today and check in and see how they're going. <laughs> I did, it's, yeah, I tell everyone that, don't I? Wow. <laughs> 